we are doing a Minecraft mob battle, except I can only use orange colored mobs. This is the best color mob. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not a Wait, blue mob. Why are you on my side? Better. Well, because I heard you talking about the stupid orange and I wanted to come over here to let you know that blue is definitely a better color. No, Cam, orange is definitely better and I am going to prove it today by having this color mob battle. Well, I'm going to prove that blue is better by winning this colored mob battle. Yeah, no, you're not. So I think you should just go back to your side. And we are on my side, the better orange side. And we are ready for this first round of the color mob battle where orange is definitely going to win against that stupid blue. So all you have to do is wait for Cam to place down his first mob and we can look through this one way glass and see whatever he places down. And oh my gosh, I don't even know what that is. It looks pretty scary. It has two heads and it pretty big. And Cam is placing down quite a lot of those, but I have a perfect orange mob in mind that will beat that stupid blue. So from my creative inventory, we can just grab the Nemean lion or Nemean. I don't even know how to say it, but it is an orange lion. And you can actually say that it is a boss and it looks insane. So we're just going to place down a couple of these to defeat. Wait, I can ride them? What? I didn't even know that. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep placing these down to defeat Cam's blue things. I don't even know what those are. And that's actually really weird. I didn't know that I could ride these guys and oh, okay, they just threw me off. Well, I won't try that again because it looks like I was hurting the lions and I don't want to hurt my army before the round starts. And before this first round actually starts, I want to hear your opinion. What color is better, light blue or orange? It's definitely orange, so you should comment orange because I do not want to see any light blue in my comments. And it looks like Kim is building something. I don't even know what that is. It doesn't look like his mobs at all. I, I can't even tell. Well, you know what? Just to mess with Cam, I'm going to give him no time to build and I'm just going to get rid of the wall. So I think we should see if Cam's army is ready. All right, Cam, round one is up. And are you ready for the first round? Not really. No, no, no. I still have to build. What are you doing? It's nowhere near time. Yeah, it's been five minutes. Time is up. And since time is up, I'm just going to get rid of the wall. So here are my lions. And Cam, what even is your mob? This is an Hasterus and it's actually super duper strong. Look at how much damage it's doing. Yeah, it's doing some damage, but I have my Nemean lions and they are just going berserk on your, what are these called? Hasterus? Is that what you said? Yeah. And wait, your lions are bosses? I, why did you spawn in a boss on the first round? I mean, there's no rule about not spawning in bosses on the first round. So I decided that because it's orange, I could just do whatever I wanted. And oh my gosh, Kim, you're getting down to your last couple hasterous. Oh my gosh, come on, guys, survive. I think you're down to your last two. Come on, no, 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 survive, please, please, please. Oh, and it looks like this one's gonna, oh no, I thought that one was gonna push my lions off and oh, there goes your last one. No, I didn't even have time to finish my build. I wanted to finish my build so my team would win, but oh my gosh. Kim, what even is this? It didn't look like your mob at all. Well, I was gonna build my mob a island mountain type thing, but I didn't have time and I didn't get to finish it. Well, Cam, that's pretty unfortunate, but we need to reset the arena so we can get ready for the second round. And now it is time for round two and we are back on the better orange side. So now all we have to do is look through this one way glass and Cam is spawning in zombies. Is that what those are? They look like frozen zombies, but oh, wait, they're actually holding bows. Oh, I didn't see that. And wait, what is Cam doing? It looks like he's trying to block my view. Does he know that I have one way glass? Oh my gosh. I don't know what Cam is doing, but I can still see his mobs and they're like frost zombies and they have bows. So I need to pick a pretty good mob. So from my creative inventory, we can just get the Lil Yetian warrior. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably incorrect. And if we place this down, you can see that it is all orange and it has three heads and a big sword. So we could just place down a couple of these to defeat Cam's frozen zombie things. I think that's what they are. So let's just place down a bunch of these guys. And I still don't know what Cam is doing. So I want to go over to his side and take a look. So unfortunately, we have to take off our orange jumpsuit so we can go invisible. And now we can just grab a potion of invisibility. And when we drink this, I should be completely invisible. And now we can go over to Cam's side and see what is he doing? This looks like a little like castle gate entrance. Is he 
building a castle for his like frozen zombies? Looks like this one's trying to go in. Yeah, this definitely looks like a castle entrance of some sort. So I'm just going to let Cam keep building that. And oh no, he's spawning more zombies. Oh my gosh, those are a lot of zombies. Cam is accidentally suffocating his zombies by placing down that sand. And that's pretty funny. So I'm just going to let Cam do his thing and hopefully keep suffocating his zombies. And I'm going to go back to my side. So I can drink this milk and I won't be invisible when the round starts. And I can also put my jumpsuit back on. And now we should see if Cam is ready for this second round. Cam, are you ready for round two of this color mob battle? I am super ready. And my mobs are definitely not going to lose now. They're not going to lose now. Did you not have faith in them before? Well, I did. But now there's no way they can lose because they have an amazing castle to defend. Oh, you built up a castle. Aren't they like some sort of royal mob? Well, I guess, but they're basically meant to defend and they are super strong. There's no way I'm going to lose. Well, Kim, since you're so confident, I'm just going to get rid of the wall in three, two, one. Here are my little Yetian warriors. I don't even know how to say their name. Well, here are my frozen archers. They kind of look like zombies. Yeah, they're archers and look at how fast they shoot. Wait, Kim, my mobs can't even reach these guys. This isn't fair. They can climb up the sides of the mountain. They can reach them. Yeah, but what about these mobs up here with no way of getting to? Well, I can make a ladder for them. Here, I'll make some stairs in these towers so your mobs can get to my mobs and totally lose. There you go. Now your mobs can get into that one. Oh my gosh, Cam, these guys shoot super fast. Yeah, this just shows that blue is such a better color than this orange. Wait, Cam, you're down to your last like four mobs. Wait, how? How are they how are they all dead? I was building a staircase. What happened to them all? I think all of the mobs that were stacked up here started shooting each other. I think that's what happened. Oh my gosh. Unless your mobs are blending in with the ground, they're they're kind of hard to see. They could be. Oh my gosh. How, how are there so many of your mobs left? My mobs were supposed to be super strong and defend the castle. Well, my mobs are super strong as well. Maybe they're just better than your light blue mobs. No, maybe. Maybe you done something while I wasn't looking. And while Cam isn't looking, I'm just going to break these little floors. That way these frost archers actually fall down and they can actually fight because nothing was happening. Cam, your castle just broke. I, did you build this right? Yeah, what do you mean? Why did it break? Don't know. I just saw the zombies fall down. Well, I was looking at my other mobs that were still alive, trying to give them confidence and then they just fall. How does that make any sense? I don't know. I think you should have just built your castle a little bit better. I built this castle so good. How did it break? I don't know, Cam, but I think this is the final fight right here. Come on, you got this. No. Yes. Oh my gosh, your stupid blue frozen zombie archer things just went down. Oh my gosh, how did they fall? I built this so well. I don't know. Maybe you missed a beat. Wait, why are you placing more down? Well, the rounds are over i just wanted to see what happened because there's no way i built this castle wrong i don't know maybe it was like a one-time fluke but it's the end of the round so you have to completely clear your side of the arena so we can get ready for round three and now it is time for round three if cam tries to build another like castle where i can't reach his bobs i'm gonna have to try to stop him but now all we have to do is look through this one-way glass and what even are those things they look like little mouse and they don't really look like they do any damage. And Cam is spawning in a lot of them. But luckily, I know a super strong orange mob because it seems like every orange mob is super strong. But from my creative inventory, we can just grab this mob called the Ignis. And it is another boss and it is super strong. And it has a giant sword and a giant shield and it does a lot of damage. So we can place down a bunch of these guys and... Honestly, I don't even think I need more than one, but I want to go a little bit overkill because I definitely want to show Cam that orange is better than that stupid light blue. And it looks like Cam is building some sort of like cave. Are these like cave troll, cave mice, whatever? I don't know. Well, you know what? Since Cam has been doing a lot of building, I think I should go and do some building myself. So I'm going to build a giant like lava area for my Ignis. 
So with this shovel, if I just right click, it'll place down a bunch of sand and you'll see why I'm using sand later. But now we're just going to place down a bunch of this and we're going to do a little bit more. And now if I do this command, it will replace all of that sand with netherrack. And now I can make a little wall right there out of netherrack and we can fill all of this with lava. And now up here, we can make a little lava lake that will make a waterfall of lava go down into there. And it's going to look really cool. So let me just fill this all up with lava. And now we just need to add in a few final touches. And now I think we're ready. So let's see if Cam is ready for this third round. Okay, Cam, it is time for the third round. And are you ready? I am super ready. My mobs are definitely going to win because they're super rich now. They're super rich. What do you mean by that? Well, you'll see whenever you drop the wall, of course. All right, Cam. Well, if you're ready, I'm just going to drop the wall. And here are my Ignis and... Wait, Cam, what even are these things? They look like little mice. Oh my gosh, your mobs are so loud. These are kobolds and they're like giant, uh, like very rich goblins. And I can't even see any more of them. Where did they go? Oh, there was one there and it's gone. <laughs> that round was so fast. Oh my gosh, you spawned in another boss. I'm definitely going to have to spawn one in now. Well, if you can even find a blue boss that's any good, then by all means, go for it. Well, Cam, I'm sorry that they did so much damage to your side of the arena, but we got to clean this up and get ready for the fourth round. And now it is time for round four. And because Cam didn't get to see my amazing build, I'm just going to keep it and hopefully he'll see it this round. But now it is time for the fourth round. So all you have to do is look through this one way glass and what are these things they're like literal mushrooms i thought cam said he was gonna spawn in a boss art are, are these bosses oh wait what was that one that one has like particles these might actually be bosses well luckily i know of a pretty good orange mob because all of the orange mobs are super overpowered so from my creative inventory we can just grab this mob called the giddy blaze and this blaze is completely orange so i mean i think i could use it and this mob is super strong strong so we are gonna place down a bunch of them so that should be enough blazes and it looks like cam is building something out of mushroom blocks it's kind of hard to tell what even are his mobs because they are standing so still it really looks like he didn't even place any mobs it looks like he just placed down a bunch of blocks and cam is just building some wait that's not building blocks those are his mob oh my gosh they blended so well that's really hard to see well luckily I have all of my blazes here and they should be way more overpowered than some mushrooms. And just to mess with Cam with this round, I think I'm going to copy him a tiny bit. So from my creative inventory, we can just grab some of these orange mushrooms and start decorating my build with these. And this is the exact opposite to what Cam used because he used those blue mushrooms and I am using these orange ones. So let me just start placing some of these down and there we go. I think that should be enough. And let's Let's see if Cam notices anything. But now let's see if Cam is ready for this fourth round. All right, Cam, it's time for round four. Are you ready? I am super ready. There's no way my mobs are gonna lose this. I don't know, Cam. I have some pretty strong mobs as well. Well, there's no way I lose this round because I have a super awesome strategy up my sleeve. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. But if you're ready, I can take down the wall. I am super ready. So go ahead and take it down. All right, Cam, I am getting rid of the wall in three, two, one here are my blazes what are your mobs i thought they i thought these are just normal mushrooms nope these are the hiding funguses and they are super strong oh my gosh i thought those were just blocks and wait they die in like two hits from my mob why aren't they attacking come on guys you got this oh wait no they're attacking now come on guys come on blazes there's a fight going on and you're just staying by my amazing volcano we need to fight and my strategy is going pretty well so far because most of my mobs are still hiding. Oh, Cam, look, here come my blazes. Come on, Fungus, you guys got this. Oh, and it looks like you're down to your final two, Cam. Come on, you two got this. I believe in you. Yes, they just destroyed that blaze. No. And now it is down to the final one. Come on, you got this. Oh, and my entire army just destroyed that one. 
No! Oh my gosh! You don't have any more hidden in, in your ground, do you? I see a bunch of these blocks. I don't think so, but I think I lost that round. How did I lose? Uh, it's because my mobs are better because they're orange. No, that's not true. You probably like cheated or something and gave them all like strength. Cam, I can't even do that if I wanted to because I would never cheat. And what in the world is this build, Nick? This is my volcano from last round that you didn't even see. I didn't even get to see this because the round was so quick. Maybe you shouldn't have picked such an overpowered mob and gave him cheats or something. Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't even deal any damage to him that round. Yeah, well, you also had a super tiny mouse, but we need to absolutely clear this entire arena for the final round and now it is time for the final round of this color mob battle so all we have to do is look through this one-way glass and we could see whatever stupid light blue mob cam is spawning in and oh my gosh what is that he actually spawned in a bus oh my gosh that's actually kind of scary and he's spawning in four of them okay i need to get a pretty strong mob in order to counter that so from my creative of inventory we can just grab this mob called the lava behemoth and this mob is huge but it's not a boss i don't think it doesn't have a health but if we place this down you can see that it takes up the entire arena so i'm just gonna try to spawn in as many of these as i can without taking down the entire arena so i think i can fit in like five at most maybe six if i try okay yeah that that is at most what i can fit is six and just those few few mobs are taking up my entire side of the arena. So hopefully they'll be able to defeat Cam's boss things. And you know what? I don't want to wait for this fight because I want to see these lava behemoths in action. So I'm going to see if Cam is ready and hopefully him and his bosses are. Cam, it's time for the final round. Are you ready? I'm almost ready. I just got to fill in my build. Hold on. Okay, I will give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Hey, wait, no, you can't do that. Give me 10 seconds. Well, Kim, my moms are ready to fight right now. Well, my build is not done yet and time is not up. So give me just like one more second. One. All right, I'm getting rid of the wall and here well, are I didn't mean it literally, demons. Nick. What are you doing now? Here are my lava demons and they're all taking up the entire arena. What is even happening? Oh my gosh. Kim, I can't even see your mobs. What is happening? I can't either. What is going on? I don't know. Where are all my mobs going? Don't know. They all just fell off. Does that mean I win? Oh my gosh, Nick. What just happened? I don't know. Maybe my four leaf clover helped out a little bit. I don't even know what happened. I don't either, but they all fell off the map. And that means that I win. Well, Nick, do you know what that means? It means that my mobs were stupid it just ran off the map. Yeah, orange is pretty stupid. That also means that my mobs just beat your mobs and that proves that blue bosses are better than orange bosses. Look at how cool these guys look. It doesn't prove anything. Orange is better. I think my mob just messed up or something. Messed up? No, it had this entire arena and it just fell off. Okay, and barely one can fit in the arena. Well, maybe you shouldn't have spawned a bunch of them. Maybe that's the reason why they just fell off. And look, this one's going off the arena again. Yeah, well, maybe it just doesn't want to be near this light blue. I mean, I wouldn't either. Oh, it just fell off the arena again. They lost two times in a row and that one didn't even count. But that means that I won the final round and my bosses are much better. But we also have to clean up this arena. Yeah, we'll have fun cleaning up your side because there's nothing to clean up on my side. And we can get ready for for the outro. All right, Cam, if you're ready, come over to my side so we can film this outro. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe because me and Cam have daily videos coming out like mob battles and Pixelmon and a bunch of stuff that you might enjoy. So make sure to check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe. And Cam, since I won four of these five rounds, do you know what that means? That means that I won one round and my blue bosses are better than your orange bosses. Well, in general, it means that orange is better than blue so that means i won the video and we'll talk to you later bye